It's almost hard to believe, but it's been 40 years since what is still considered the greatest upset in sports. Saturday will mark the 40th anniversary of the miracle on ice when the U.S. men's Olympic hockey team shocked the Soviet Union and the hockey world and the rest of the world. <laughs> Everybody just amazed by that moment. And we are so excited to have Dave Christian with us here in studio, a member of that team and also a Minnesotan. Now lives in Chaska, Minnesota. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and welcome. Great to be here, thank you. 40 years ago, hard to believe, but do you think that you as a team really understood the magnitude of that moment? I don't think we did, and I think we still are amazed that the story kind of it lives on and is, it's been this long, and people want to relate where they were and, and how it made them feel and what it meant to them. So it's been pretty amazing. It was such a different time, right? I mean, the game itself was an amazing game in and of itself, but you have to put yourself in 1980, the height of the Cold War, no greater villain than the, the USSR. Uh, and this was this moment, frankly, just to see Americans and Soviets on the same sheet of ice was remarkable. It was, and I think, uh, you know, we obviously knew and felt the support we had of the country at mm -hmm. that time. Uh, everybody was going through the same thing. Not a mm. great feeling, not, not really a lot of pride at being an American. And then we come along and, and the significance of the game, so much was put on it, placed on it outside of the game of sure. hockey. And I think people forget that you still had to beat Finland too to win the gold. <laughs> right, yeah. There was, yeah, so we had to come, we had to come down from that euphoria of beating the Soviet Union. And Which get is ready really to hard to do. It, it was hard. And it was the, the one time in that whole Olympic experience that we really were focused on winning. We had to win at mm -hmm. that point. Oh man, what a, you think about like in the context of sports, kind of highs and lows, mm -hmm. like what an absolute disaster would it be <laughs> if, if you lost in the gold medal game, right? Yeah. It's right, and Herbie reminded us of that uh, <laughs> before the game. That I if, bet he did. He yeah. did. How did this moment just change the course of your life and so many of your teammates? I, I think uh, at, right at that moment, right after it finished, I think it gave a lot of us the opportunity to play uh, in the NHL right away. You were drafted, uh, what, the week after? I, I played my first game a, a week after you that final game, game against uh, Finland with Win with the Winnipeg Jets. And how quickly did you score that your goal? Oh, very, very good. <laughs> Seven seconds into my first shift. Still still <laughs> an NHL record, right? It is. It yeah. is. I did a little research. There. <laughs> I don't just show up here, you know. Uh, but a great moment. You played for, what, five uh, different teams? Yeah, I did. Right? I played with five teams in the yeah. NHL over 15 years. And, and, what, and yeah. what, tell us what you're up to today, how things are going. I, I work with Cardinal Glass Industries where uh, we do the, the insulating glass units for yeah. all the big companies, Marvin, Pella. So. And this weekend you get to spend it with your teammates in Las Vegas. Yes. What are the plans there? So I think the, the Golden Knights are hosting us and we're going to be involved with uh, some season uh, ticket holder events with them. We'll attend the Golden Knights game on Saturday night playing against Florida, interesting enough. Two teams that weren't even in the league, weren't even playing hockey. Right? No kidding. 40 years later, we're yeah. going to be there for that game. And then we're going to serve as Grand Marshals on Sunday for the Pennzoil 400 Las Vegas Motor Speedway. How about Great. that? Great. It is of amazing. Do you think the movie, the Miracle on Ice movie, has done a lot to kind of keep this story going? I, I, I think it does. It brought that story to another generation. Yeah. And, we find now that uh, people will say, I wasn't born when that happened. But of course, yeah. Makes that us feel really old. I know, yeah. <laughs> Is that the number one thing people should not say to you this weekend? That would be helpful. We'll hear uh, it a lot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, you will. Well, Dave, congratulations and thank you so much. Thanks, Alan. And make sure your teammate who didn't show up here on time knows he's, he's on our list here he's at CCO. He's going to hear about it. That's Are we right. calling him out right now? Well, we spent the whole show teasing that he was going to be here, Rob McClanahan. <laughs> Just another reason to hate Blake, I think, right there. <laughs> there He's you a go. for that. He said it, I didn't All right, big it. celebration in St. Paul on Saturday, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the miracle. So Saturday, 8 to 5, all sorts of stuff going on in St. Paul. Parade at 1, and it all starts at CHS Field. Thank you so much. Let's